Coming up next is the War Documentary News. Stay tuned, folks. Coming up on today's news, we look further into Amy Winehouse's death. We discuss with Phil Mitchell on what he thinks about the budget cuts. We see Professor Gleelandstein and his theory of what really goes into the making of socks. But first, we go back in time to the 1914s to find out the causes of the First World War. Time travel! Hello! And welcome to the War Documentary News. And with your host, Louise. So, as you know, the main causes of the First World War can be summarised as militarism, alliances, imperialism, nationalism, the Schlieffen Plan and the assassination of Franz Ferdinand, the Archduke of course. Militarism means military power that each individual country had. Alliances means making friends, which is what nearly all of the countries did. The Triple Alliance was made up of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy, who later on were kicked out and replaced by Turkey. The Triple Entente was made up of Britain, Russia, and France. Imperialism means trying to take over the world. Nationalism means making sure that your nation is the best. The Schlieffen Plan was a plan created by a German man called Alfred von Schlieffen. This was a plan to take over other countries to gain more power. And let's just say that this made the other countries very mad. The assassination of the Archduke Franz Ferdinand was also a big cause of the First World War because all of the commotion caused by it Let's just say that Austria-Hungary took over Bosnia and they and Serbia weren't happy at all. The Archduke then went to Bosnia and the Serbian nationalists, the Black Hand Gang, didn't like being controlled so shocked him and he was the Archduke of Austria-Hungary. So there we have it. These were the main causes of the First World War. I will now pass back to Charlotte. And that concludes today's news. Now, for the weather, with Mandy. It is very cold outside today, so I suggest you wear warm clothes and pyjamas. Take this mouse, for instance, lovely, sexy, baby grow pyjamas, the most warmest in the country, which you can now get at Tesco's for only 9 95 reduced from 9 99 Tesco's. Thank you and goodbye.